Hello everyone, my name is Masha Nuts, and welcome to my 2019 wrap up. So here you can see some pictures of people who participated in the December challenge. I really enjoyed this one because I really like festive bracelets. I never really get around to making them though. I always save festive and wintry patterns because I think they look really nice, but then I only want to make them during sort of winter time. I was actually really happy that this year we all got to do them as a community together. And I ended up making a few that I'll show you later as well. So it was definitely very fun for me. I had a great time with this. So today I'm going to show you all of the bracelets that I made in December. I actually had quite a productive month. I got quite a lot of bracelets done. I was also trying to focus my attention on alphas specifically because I know that I have a lot of room for improvement in the alpha department so I made quite a lot of alphas this month. But I'm also going to talk about some of the 2019 highlights and then at the end of the video you will be able to vote for the challenge of the month for the month of January. So thank you to everybody who participated in the December challenge. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again in the month of January. So as I said, I did have quite a productive month. I have quite a lot of bracelets here, but I also some of the bracelets that I made, I don't have with me because I sent them out. So let's start with those. I have this beautiful bracelet, which was actually part of the monthly challenge. I also did a tutorial on this bracelet that will be linked in the description if you want to do it for yourself. It's a cute and simple little bracelet. I also made this bracelet, which was also part of the challenge of the month. And I also did a tutorial for this bracelet. For this bracelet, however, the tutorial isn't about this specific bracelet. It's more about how to to make shaped bracelets in general with any pattern. So check that out if that's something that interests you. And then finally, I also made this pattern for the challenge of the month. And I also did a video for this bracelet. It's just a not with me video where you can see me knotting this bracelet in real time. As you can see, it is a little bit wonky. As I said, I am trying to still work on my alpha skills and I think I chose the strings a little bit incorrect here. All the strings are different sizes, so the knots are different sizes, so the bracelet turned out white wonky. But still, nonetheless, I really like it. I don't know how well you can see, but the white is a really sort of sparkly yarn. It's the Alisa Sal Simli yarn. Because snow really is sparkly in real life and uh, I think it looks great. I've been wanting to make this pattern for a while, for years literally, it's been on my to-do list. So I'm glad I finally did it. I'm probably going to try again next year though, just because I want to try and see if I can make it neater because I did choose the wrong strings for this. So we'll see next year if I can make this better. I'm not really going to go about this in chronological order because I genuinely don't remember which ones I did when. Uh, but I also did this beautiful bracelet. As you can see, it's also an alpha because as I said, I really was trying to focus on alphas and I really really love this pattern. This is also one of those patterns that was on my to-do list forever and I finally got down to actually making it. I love the individual snowflakes and how unique they all are. They're absolutely beautiful and I love it. Again, I don't know how well you can tell from a video, but the white that is in here is also the same Alitza Sal Simli string, which has a little sort of twinkle in it, a little sparkle, and in real life, it just gives that little extra oomph to the bracelet, which I really enjoy. This is what the other side looks like, by the way, because I get questions about the other sides of my alphas quite a lot. This is normal. That's just the way that the back of an alpha looks like, because you move all the strings around when you're knotting. So yeah, that's it for the sort of festive slash wintry bracelets that I did this month. The rest of them are sort of just regular bracelets that I was just in the mood to make. I finally finished my Arrowhead collection. As you may know, when I did the tutorial for the Arrowhead, which will also be linked in the description, I started six of these on all different color combinations, and I only now finish them months later. This is the last one of that series in this beautiful sort of rich and deep pink going into light pink. I really, really like this. It's sort of like a raspberry color. That's what it reminds me of. And I'm really glad to finally be done with the arrowheads. As much as I enjoy the arrowheads and making them, the fact that I hadn't finished the collection was like really weighing on me. So I'm really glad to finally be done with them. Next up, I did another Starburst bracelet. You may have seen in a previous wrap up of mine that I've already done this bracelet in sort of red colors. This time I decided to go with blue. I really, really love this pattern. I think it's super, super cool. And it's very fun to segment knot as well. I really enjoy thicker patterns that have a repeating element to them. So here you have this little sort of star repeating. I really like normal patterns like that. And as you can see, I did a loop here that went into two triangle ends. I used this bracelet to film a tutorial on how to do that. So if you were ever wondering how to do that, and also a bunch more information on triangle ends in general, I did a tutorial on that. That'll be linked in the description. 
I really want to make more of these. I'm thinking of doing like a green, pink, all sorts of colors with the Starburst because I really do enjoy this pattern quite a lot. But they are really big bracelets and they take a while to make. So I don't know how quickly I'll get that done, but that is something that I want to do. Coming back to Alphas, I did this beautiful bracelet. I am so happy with this one. I think it's so cute. I've been eyeing this pattern for a very long time, but for some reason I just wouldn't get around to it. And I finally did. And I'm so, so happy that I did. I love how it turned out. And I really want to make another one with like a different background color because I just think it's that cute. For the background here, I used one string. It's a multicolored string. And I used an Alice Diva string. As you can see, the sort of change in colors is relatively slow. If you compare it to any other string that comes in like those eight meter skeins, I don't really have one on hand, but if you imagine this as a multicolored string, if a multicolored string comes in a tiny little pack like that, then the color switches will be much, much faster than what you see here, purely because there's not a lot of string, so the colors have to change really quickly. But the Alice Diva comes in this like giant yarn ball, so the colors change really, really slowly on that. And because they change slowly, it has that effect of multiple rows being of the same color and then the color switches. Whereas, as you can see a little bit later, because I have another one with a multicolored string, when the colors change really quickly in those tiny little strands, then the result is more stripy. You can even have color changes within the same row and the sort of background becomes really, really stripy. And I've tried those before. I've done sort of stripy background, multicolored alphas, but I've never really tried an alpha where there is a slower change of colors. So I was really interested to try this, but it ended up being that the colors changed so slow that I had to actually cut the string and then insert it when the colors already changed so that I can get a faster change. Because if I didn't do that, then I would probably end up with like just orange and yellow. I wouldn't even get to all of these other colors. I had to sort of force the change but I still really like how it turned out. And you end up changing the background string anyway for alphas, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I also finished this bracelet. I started making this one a couple months ago, but I only got into a little bit of it and then I finished it in one go pretty much. I think this is such a cool pattern. The original pattern isn't like this. The original pattern is just a regular pattern. I modified it to be a shaped bracelet. And as I mentioned with the snowflake bracelet that I did, I did a tutorial on how to make shaped bracelets with any sort of pattern so you can watch that to figure out how to do this but I really like this pattern I think it's just I don't, it reminds me of space or something it's definitely not my usual sort of pattern style I don't usually go for this type of thing but I really like it it really does remind me of sort of like space or something mysterious or alien like and I thought it was quite fitting to put it into a shaped bracelet and I really like it I think it's really cool next up we have another alpha look at this cutie isn't he a Adorable. I absolutely love this. So see what I mean when I was talking about multicolored strings? This is a string that comes in those tiny little skeins and see how quickly the colors change here and it results in a sort of more stripy effect. Not saying it's good or bad, it's just different. I like both. And I really love the cute little kitten in the middle. I think it's so cute. Another thing that I really like that I don't know if you can see very well is that there's one strand of the multicolored string in the twisted ties that changes colors as the tie twists and I love that. So when I posted this on Instagram, I got a ton of questions about the string because it is so beautiful and it is a rainbow and it's just, oh, it's a pastel rainbow. What more can you want? It's like a unicorn threw up. I love it. This thread is by Anka and I don't remember the exact number, but I'll put it up here in editing. That is the number of the thread. So hopefully you can find it in a store near you. I found this on Etsy about six months ago and I, for the life of me, cannot find the link anywhere. I found the link. It'll be in the description. <laughs> But I absolutely love this string and this bracelet as well. I think it's super cute. And I also really like the photo that I took of it for Instagram. I haven't posted it yet. I might have posted it by the time you see this video. I don't know, but I'm really excited to share it on Instagram because I really love it a lot. Next up, we have this bracelet. Now this little cutie is the flip flop bracelet. It is essentially just a candy stripe with a sort of a twist. It's a very, very simple bracelet and a beginner could definitely make this. So I highly recommend checking this out if you're a beginner and you want a little bit more variety. I did film a tutorial on how to make it that I will link in the description for you. So yeah, this one was filmed for a tutorial. I don't really have that much to say about it. I just think it's really cute, really simple, and just fun to make. So check the video out if you want to. And last but not least, I actually have two more bracelets to show you, but the second one is going to be a surprise that hasn't been posted yet, so I don't want to share it yet, but I can share this one. 
It's the Hufflepuff house bracelet. I absolutely love Harry Potter. The one video where I want to show you my shelf, it's blocked by view, but in that bit here, I have the whole seven books of the series and then some extra sort of encyclopedia and extra books there that I got as gifts and stuff. I really love the series. It's just like such a big part of my childhood. So I decided to make house bracelets for each of the Hogwarts houses. So this is the Hufflepuff bracelet. It turned out slightly wonky and I can see some mistakes in it. The H is a little bit thicker than the rest of the bracelet and there's some colors bleeding through in the H here as well. So it's not perfect, but as I said, I am still sort of trying to perfect my alpha skills and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. As I said, I will be making more of these. I have already made one, but I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm still waiting to make the other two as well. And what's super fun about these bracelets is that I'm actually giving them away. So I do currently have a competition running until the end of January where you can participate to win your Hogwarts house bracelet. If you want to find out about the rules of the competition and how to enter, check out the video that I did for the Hufflepuff bracelet. I will also be doing videos for all the other bracelets and the rules will also be there, but this is the only one that I've posted as of now. So I'll leave that linked in the description so you can check it out and enter the competition if you want to win one of these bracelets for yourself. So that's it for all the bracelets that I have made this month. Oops, I forgot about this one because I sent it away to a Patreon and I don't actually have it on me. But I also made this one this month. And this one is super cute and super easy. There's actually like two repeating steps. I think I might do a tutorial for this one in the summer because it feels like more of a summery bracelet. But yeah, I definitely had fun with this one. I like it a lot. I am genuinely really happy with it. It's been a very productive month for me. Definitely a big change from last month where I only did three, I think, or something like that. And I am still working quite a lot of bracelets as well. I just haven't finished them yet, so I can't show you. I try not to make this video super long, but I do want to talk a little bit about just like highlights from 2019. I had a great year, and in terms of my channel as well, a lot of you guys found me in 2019, which is awesome, and I'm glad to have you here. And another fun thing for me is that I have Patreons and I have competition winners, and I send out a lot of bracelets. So in 2019, I've been keeping track of all the bracelets that I've sent out and where I've sent them out to. And I put the addresses as starred places on my Google Maps, so then I can look at the map of the world and see where I've sent bracelets to. And it's been absolutely awesome. A lot of you guys come from the US, which is understandable. So it's also interesting to sort of track which states I send bracelets to. But even more so, I've sent bracelets to so many countries this year and that's awesome. Including Australia, which is like a whole different continent. So I've definitely had a blast in that regard as well. And I had a blast seeing you guys on Instagram as well. I do lives on Instagram every once in a while and I love hanging out with you there. And just chatting with you on Instagram is always fun. I love receiving your messages and just talking to people. So thank you for an awesome 2019. I hope your 2020 is awesome as well. And I wish you all the best. So let's Let's get into the January challenge of the month. If you've never participated in a challenge before, I'm now going to show you four normal patterns, four alpha patterns. You will then vote on the pattern that you like most, that you want to be the challenge of the month for January. A few days later, I will look at the votes and I will announce which pattern became the challenge of the month. So you guys get to choose what pattern wins. And when I do announce a pattern, I will announce it in the comment section here as a pinned comment also as a YouTube post and an Instagram as well. And when that happens, if you want to participate, you'll have to make one or both of these patterns in any color combination. Take a picture of the bracelet that you have created, post it to Instagram, tag me in the photo so I can see it from my profile and use hashtag Marsha Nuts and so do I. The reason I do it on Instagram is so that everyone can see it, so it's all in one place and so it's easier for everyone to access it. This is a challenge, it's not a competition. There's nothing to win, it's just for fun. If you want a competition though, I am currently running one for the Harry Potter bracelets, as I said. That whole thing is completely separate from the January challenge. So the January challenge is what will be announced in a couple of days from now what you guys will vote on. And for that, you don't win anything, it's just for fun. And the competition is the Harry Potter stuff, which is announced in a whole separate video that will also be linked in the description if you wanna check that out. So they're separate, but they are happening simultaneously. I know it's confusing, but hopefully you understand. I will feature some of your photos in my next wrap up video, similarly to how I did in this one. And I hope you participate and have fun. So I'm now editing this and I realized that I actually forgot to do the vote. Let's start with the normal patterns. This is pattern number one. Number two, and number three. 
There is going to be a poll in the card. On the right side of your video screen, there should be the letter I in a circle. If you click that, the card menu will open up and you will get a poll that you can vote in. Click it to cast your vote. If you can't see a poll in there, that means that the vote has already been closed and I've already announced the pattern of the month. In that case, check the pinned comment because that is where the announced patterns will be. Now let's move on to the alpha patterns. This is pattern number one, number two, and number three. Same goes for alphas, click the i card, cast your vote, if it's not there then it's already been announced and you can check the pinned comment. Before I go I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters who are Jane, Zoe, Tia and Izzy. Thank you guys very much for your support, it really means a lot to me. It has especially meant a lot to me in this holiday season. If you also want to become a patron and help me run this channel, there are a lot of costs that come with running a YouTube channel. There is a link in the description where you can sign up and you can also get exclusive perks for your donations. I sometimes send my patrons bracelets. But regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing 2020 and an amazing New Year celebration as well. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and sometimes I post bonus videos on other days as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.